Of late, the wild Chinese Communist Party and its leader Xi Jinping have left no stone unturned to push their expansionist policies around the world. News reports have now come which state that China, far far away from its own coast, has unleashed a huge fishing fleet some 160 miles away from the Galapagos Islands. The discovery of the Chinese fleet has sparked fears for the protected region's diverse ecosystem and delicate marine life. The fishing fleet, consisting of about 260 ships, was spotted via satellite imaging on the borders of the Galapagos Protection Zone. Ecuador's navy discovered the huge fleet just 200 miles from the archipelago. The presence of such a huge fleet just outside a 188-mile-wide exclusive economic zone around the island has already raised the prospects of serious damage to the delicate marine ecosystems. Former Environment Minister of Ecuador told The Guardian, this fleet's size and aggressiveness against marine species is a big threat to the balance of species in the Galapagos. The former minister, along with Rocky Sevilla, who is an ex-mayor of Quito, was on Monday put in charge of designing a protection strategy for the islands, which lie 563 miles west of the South American mainland. Sevilla said that the diplomatic efforts would be made to request the withdrawal of the Chinese fishing fleet. He said unchecked Chinese fishing just on the edge of the protected zone is ruining Ecuador's efforts to protect marine life in the Galapagos. However, there is more to this than meets the eye. One shouldn't mistake these as ordinary fishing fleets because most of these boats are part of the Chinese maritime militia, properly trained and educated to ward off potentially armed hostilities and to also exert dominance in the region by scaring off the fishermen, stealing their fish and claiming authority over sovereign boundaries of other nations. In fact, the maritime militia of China is a paramilitary force trained by the Chinese Navy to engage in patrol, surveillance, resupply and other missions to bolster China's presence in contested waters. Most of the maritime militia vessels operate on high seas and are usually engaged in commercial fishing but are routinely called on to assist the PLA Navy or the China Coast Guard. Broadly construed, these forces are styled as the People's Armed Forces Maritime Militia and operate as a third sea force of China. According to a news report in The Diplomat, USA's former Chief of Naval Operations Admiral John Richards had warned his Chinese counterpart, Vice Admiral Shen Jinlong, that the United States was well aware that China uses its militia fishing fleet to push its illegal claims in the East and South China Seas. China's maritime militia was also believed to be behind a series of laser attacks against an Australian naval helicopter over the South China Sea last year. Fortunately, the helicopter which was attacked by the militia made it safely back to the ship and therefore came reports which stated that the crew of the Royal Australian Navy helicopter was targeted by lasers from nearby Chinese fishing vessels during a night flight. Most of China's militia vessels are indistinguishable from its ordinary fishing fleet, hence masquerading as a fishing boat and attacking the enemies is a relatively easier task. The other reason why these Chinese fleet boats travel thousands of miles is to satiate the hunger of ordinary Chinese people. In its greed to emerge as a superpower of the world, China in the last few decades has completely destroyed its own aquatic ecology by involving in rampant offshore drilling and using unsustainable fishing practices like trawling. China's fishing stock has reached such alarming lows that it has resorted to stealing now. According to a 2016 study undertaken by a team of international experts, China has lost one half of its coastal wetlands, 57% of mangroves and 80% of coral reefs, most of which are critical spawning, nursing or feeding grounds for fish. Subsequently, to gratify the Chinese population's rising demand for exotic aquatic food, the Chinese fishing vessels have resorted to catching in the high seas or the international waters. 
By 2030, China is projected to account for 38% of the global marine catch, more than double that of any other region, and this would mean more Chinese vessels in the sea and more Chinese militia vessels hiding in plain sight for the countries to fend off. The Philippines, Vietnam, Brunei, Malaysia and other countries which have claims over numerous parts of the South China Sea have been troubled by the menace of Chinese fishing fleet or militia which routinely engage in encroachment activities in the region. In 2016, an arbitration tribunal determined that Chinese vessels had unlawfully prevented Filipino fishermen from engaging in traditional fishing at the Scarborough Shoal. The tribunal also found that Chinese fishing vessels engaged in illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, including harvesting endangered giant clams, corals and sea turtles. Over the years, China has used the militias to advance its disputed sovereignty claims in international sea incidents throughout the South and East China Seas. The Chinese have taken their expansionist policies to a whole new level as they have now come around to South America and the USA will not be liking it one bit. It's high time that China's third force in the sea is exposed to the world and shown its right place. Otherwise, the PLA Navy will only be more encouraged to undertake such nefarious activities.